right, today is the day as promised. I told you that I would put a little video together once I had one of these spires cast and we have them out of the mold. But before we get it out of the mold, we gotta put it in the mold, I guess. So assembling the mold, simply snap together, shake it around a little bit just to make sure that the two parts of the rubber fit into their grooves. Then I secure the whole thing with some zip ties. Um, need something pretty strong. Usually you can use rubber bands, but zip ties here required for when we go to the foam process. The foam expanding, we need to keep it contained within the shell of the mold. So we're going to first pour a two-part urethane. I mix a little color with this thing just so that if the paint gets knocked off, the UV inhibitors in the tint will protect it a little bit. That urethane mixed up uh, 100 to 90 by ratio. I'll put a description below. That's a part of urethane sold by Smooth On. You have uh, about three minutes of a uh, mixing time before you need to make sure it's into the mold and starts gelling a little bit. While it's still nice and liquid, we want to pour it in. I have a little uh, silicone plug that I then plug the hole with so that when I'm rotating the mold, I don't get any out the hole. Once it's in, then it's just a matter of uh, rotating the mold around till that urethane coats all the surfaces of the mold. It takes about 10 minutes with this uh, urethane. So the first rotations are pretty quick. Just make sure you get it coated. Then it's a matter of just rotating the mold until it is uh, setting up. Now I have to remove a little bit of the urethane right here into the spout of the pour hole so that when we go to the next step with the foam we have a place to put it in without being sealed off. So again this is a two-part urethane. This is expanding foam. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. Once it's mixed up, you have about the same mixing time, about three minutes. And if you go that three minutes, you might be uh, seeing it foam in the container. So get it nice and thoroughly mixed. And then the same thing is with the hard urethane. Pour it in the hole. Put our silicone plug in the hole. Rotate it around, get it to coat the entire surface. That's just a matter of keeping it going until we see that the foam is starting to expand. All this is a little bit longer than you're seeing here, of course. I just create this little shield to protect my mold once the foam starts expanding. Keep it off the mold. Once it starts coming out of the hole like this, it has reached the apex of its expansion then you know it's pretty much set. Just cut this thing off. And that's basically the part is completely cast. So then let it set for a while and come back and demold. Taking my zip ties off here. Prying off the backup mold here, getting it loose from the rubber silicone. Once that's pried off the backup mold, then the silicone mold itself will uh, peel off a little bit easier. Luckily with the flexible silicone, it will release off most of the undercuts. And especially in this, we have the little floor de lee It releases off that nicely. There is a little leakage through the joint, causing a little bit of a flashing, but that's easy enough to just break off or sand if it needs to be. There's one side is off. Now I have a handle, of course, to pull on that spout. And once that thing is out of the backup mold, again, the silicone mold peels off nice and easy. That's the beauty of the flexible mold. And there it is, finished part.
Well, as I said, that was kind of a short video, but it just shows you the finished product that we came out of the mold. Anyway, we're glad you stopped by and come by again to see this kind of video. Make sure you subscribe below and ring the bell if you want a notification of other things to come here in the studio. Thanks again.